Just a boy sitting on the lap of his fiance. <laughs> That's super weird. Everyone around here has to be like, what is going on? Yeah, because I keep being like, hmm. <laughs> so they're like. We're hanging out by the pool here at the Disney Hotel, and the waitress comes over and says, We love your YouTube channel. Here, this is from us. So, <laughs> that's amazing. Thank you. I am so excited. I'm pretty sure my mom is the most excited. <laughs> she loves cupcakes. I'm charging my phone with Shane's wheelchair. It's back there. I got it for Shane for his birthday this year, but now I'm using it, which is always my goal with the presents I get for people. For the wedding, <laughs> I would look so nice in that. This is so nice. See, this is your size and it would match you so perfectly. Perfect. Tell us about that building. Well, they modeled it after the first circle. 3.14. Hi. Huh? Hi. Hi. That's a Mayan thing. Alright, so there's no curb cut until way down there. I hope they don't get run over. We all got pre-check, so we're flying through security right now. Security took like four minutes, so now we have three and a half hours until our flight. That was incredibly easy. So we're just hanging out in the Delta Sky Lounge. This is not our normal place to hang out before a flight, but something pretty funny happened, and that's why we're here. So we got through security really fast, as you know, and we were looking for a place to sit and we didn't really want to sit in a restaurant for three and a half hours because that can be seen as a little bit rude and there's really nowhere to sit. So we came up here to this Sky Lounge to see, to see how much it costs to buy a three hour pass or a day pass or whatever. And it was well, how much? $29 a person. And there's three of us, so we were like hemming and hawing, standing in the middle of the Sky Lounge, like trying to decide if it was worth $90 to sit in here, like how much would we spend in a restaurant to sit this whole long, it took us like 20 minutes. As we were sitting there, one of the people that worked here came up to Shane and like grabbed his chin, like kind of like this, and was like stroking it and was like, aww, oh. And it was like an, an older woman who was didn't, working here. Didn't understand didn't understand that Shane was not a baby or that that wasn't an appropriate thing to do. But there was another employee that was standing with us, like telling us about the cost. And she was like, like could not believe what was happening in front of her. And like the woman walked away, the, the one that caressed Shane's face walked away. And she was like, I am so sorry. I cannot believe that that just happened. And we were like, it's okay. That happens all the time. Like, don't worry about it. But she was like, no, there is absolutely no excuse for that to happen. Like that is so horrible. And she was like, um, one of you can be my guest for today. So she let us, one of us in for free. So we paid for the other two. It was really nice of her. So thank you to that one Delta employee that took action when she saw me beat her up. We 
we are on the plane. On this particular plane, the bulkhead is an exit row, so we can't sit there. So we're in the second row back, and it's super tight. Shane can't recline the car seat, which is really comfortable because his feet don't fit. I can't move. I have so many pillows on every inch of me, so I can't use my phone. Because there's too many pillows, like, holding me in there in the way of my arms. Settle in and have a wonderful flight. Shane's favorite thing to do is to watch the flight tracker, and I really wish that he wouldn't. My head is barely in this. We're going to a show tonight. Going to the theater. Going to the theater. If you guys remember the episode we did about visiting the Guthrie Theater recently? They had invited us to a behind the scenes tour, which we put in an episode. This was awesome. It was amazing. And then they invited us to come back to see the show that we had seen rehearsing while we were there. Yeah. And it's Guys and Dolls, which we've never seen. And we're really excited. So I'm getting all fancy up here. Yeah, she has my, a polo with on. My polo on. That's how you know it's gonna be a wild night. Head right a bit. Tell them what you're doing, sis. Oh yeah. That might look weird to some people. Shane has a tight neck. Here, rub my neck where it's like tight. Right there. Right here. My muscles are real tight. It's so like you know how his elbows are tight. So I stretch it out a few times a day. And it always looks like I'm trying to kill him. In public when you do it? Cause sometimes when we do it when you're like walking next to me. Oh yeah, so I'll just be sitting like this. Like it looks like she's trying to keep me away. Keep you as far away as possible. We're not sure if the theater allows food, but we're gonna try. <laughs> I love Minneapolis. It's so pretty. It really is. You should move here, everyone watching. Come to Minneapolis. Come hang out. This video is sponsored <laughs> by... The Minneapolis Travel Bureau. <laughs> no, it's not. Nope. Shane and I just decided that we want to have an apartment in this building complex. This is such a nice setup. Our seats are perfect. I'm not just saying that because they invited us. <laughs> I really like this spot. It feels really close. Like yeah, closer really, than the stage is like right there. Yeah, the stage is right there. I should reach out and like lick the actors. There's a whole like level above us that we can't even see. That's called the balcony. They named it that because it rhymes with Tennessee. That's where the Greek root of the word comes from. A knee okay. means to not see. Fun fact about this theater, actually, you just reminded me of it, is that every single seat is not further away. Do you, well, do you remember what it was at the uh, time? Yeah, I thought you were doing a fake fact. I wasn't doing a fake but fact. Yeah. It's a real fact. Every single seat in here is a specific it's distance. Like 50 feet or is nowhere is more than like 50 feet away. Yeah. It's designed in such a way so that everyone's close. Because like right over there, it's like super That's steep. That's why it goes up really yeah. steep so that even the people at the top are like pretty close to the stage. Anyway, you can't see rhyme thing. Remind me, I just wish I remembered the distance. It's kind of a lame fun fact if I don't know the exact distance I'm talking about. The show is great. I love it. Oops. <laughs>
I love it. I love it. It's intermission right now. Um, snacks aren't allowed in the theater, so we came out into the hallway so that we can have our candy snacks. I mean, we were never going to eat the candy during the show because that's rude, but it's for before intermission and maybe after. But as we were going in, they were like, there's no food allowed in the theater. And so now we came back out so that Shane could have his Reese's and I could have a couple milk goods. We had a lovely view here. I know. So pretty. We're headed home. It was so good. It was so good, especially the second half. The yeah. music was so fun. And then I recognized some of the songs, and I didn't realize I would. And the whole thing was so funny. Yeah, it was so funny. It was like full of humor.